Hello. Okay, so today I will be taking you through my mind map that I did on Prezi. So we'll just come up here to the present button. And as you can see, my title is, What are the parts of rocks we can observe? So this lesson is focused on students using the scientific process skill of observing. So for my theme, I did a nature theme with mountains that ties into the rocks. So we'll just go down here to our first circle. And the first question I ask the students are, what are the parts of rocks we can observe? We'd move over to here, and we would practice observing together and observe the parts of this cookie. And I would have students observe what our parts make up this cookie, such as the dough, the nuts, and the chocolate chips, and talk about how all those parts make up a cookie. And as you can see, I have inputted a image there. Next, I would say to the students, just as we observe the parts of the cookie, we can observe the parts of rocks. And I would pass out rocks to them that they would observe using a magnifying glass. And I have a note written down here for myself to remember, to remind the students that magnifying glasses are tools, not toys. And we use them as scientists. So they would observe the parts of their rocks. From there, I would say good scientists make hypothesis. Make a hypothesis for how you think rocks are formed. And I would have them write down how they think rocks are formed. And then from there, we would do some research. And I would show them this website that talks about how rocks are formed that they could check out from this link I have put on here. Next, we would watch a Bill Nye video and listen to him explain how rocks are formed. I would have the students see if this aligns with their original hypothesis or if it is different. So as you can see, those are the elements of my my map. I included the title, the theme, a link, an image, a video, and a note. Thank you.